We are here stopping at Smith's today. We got the rig all parked up behind us and uh, we're stopping to buy some groceries to go to Death Valley actually. Uh, it's a national park. We figured we'd just make some use of our natural or national park pass and visit the lowest point in the United States, the lowest elevation point in the United States. So we're going to visit the lowest point, then after that we're going to Mammoth, which is the, has the mountain for the highest point inside the United States. So we're going from literally the lowest to the highest. We made it to Death Valley. Somehow. There's Alex. It was hot AF. We got here in the middle of the afternoon and I think we melted about halfway away. Yes. So right now we're just chilling outside, reading some books in the shade of the rig here. The dream with Truckosaurus. That's the Truckosaurus dream right there, I guess. And um, yeah, it's a cool view. Let me zoom in past Alex. <laughs> so I didn't get it with like the sun setting on all the mountains. I was slacking on the video. It was hot. My brain doesn't function as well when it's so hot. But the mountains right now with the sun setting on them, fantastic. Almost as good as my wife over there. <laughs> it's probably the most remote camping we've done so far. Got to drive a mile off the main road. That's the minimum inside this national park. As you can see, it's all gravel all the way here. So, glad to have a capable setup to get us here. Sun is setting just on the other side. Maybe I'll go take a look at it. But it looks really nice on those mountains either way. i to be honest with you. Sunset's pretty cool over there. I don't know how it looks through the camera, because everything gets different, especially when you're pointing it at a bright sun. But, I don't know, it kind of looks cooler over there. And, if you go off down that way, it is one of the geologic, geological, geological, geologic features of Death Valley. The Hole in the Wall is the name of it. So we're on the road here for the Hole in the Wall Canyon, they call it. It's about five miles up that way. About one mile down that way is the National Park Road. It clouds look super cool. Of course, you can never quite tell if it's gonna turn out in the video. But I dig it. There's even the moon. Is nice. Make sure we didn't run out of water. So I filled all of these at the regular old drinking fountain. <laughs> Alex went and got herself a penny. Uh, there it goes. Scorpion. We're in the gift shop. Kind of spoiling ourselves with the air conditioning before we go back out. It is like 10 a.m. and it's almost 100 degrees. It's like 96 degrees right now. Record world record hottest place or record United States hottest place but we're gonna go 134 hopefully it doesn't reach that today <laughs> we're at the natural bridge canyon out here in beautiful sunny death valley we got Chuckasaurus up this nice unpaved road along with all these other mid-class size SUVs we're gonna hike a mile or half a mile or so to the natural bridge and then I don't know maybe we'll go to that narrow canyon we'll see how far we make it I'm game for it though we're here to hike today for now at least for now we're here to hike for right now it's been pretty much an all uphill walk hence the slight out of breath besides you know the wind being a basically air fryer and like baking the moisture straight out of my lungs as we climb. I just found a neat stone. Look 
this is the natural bridge. That took us here because we yeah, didn't get to find any. Mm. Oh yeah, I like to torture Alex. I'm just, this is the devil's area. This is the devil's playground. This is where I belong, I guess. But uh, we didn't see any arches or bridges when we were in Utah, so we wanted to come here and do it now. And do it we shall. It's a big formation. Still can't get everything in the shot here. I zoomed in, no. Now I think someone called that a dry waterfall right there. I'm not sure what's up with it, but this right here is cool. There's like this one. You can walk all the way up to this one. Look at it. It's so tall. We are here at basically what they call the birth of Death Valley, I guess. It is the Badwater Point. It is the country's lowest point elevation. Most elevation point, yeah, close in the um, at negative 282 feet below sea level. This is all some crazy looking mud flat type things. But here it is. Saw flats out that way. What they call the bad water pool, I guess, here? It's actually water. It's an aquifer. I guess some cartographer originally wrote this is called Bad Water, and the name's stuck. Home to one of Earth's rarest, or Death Valley's rarest animals, the bad water snail. I don't know if I can see any from here. I don't know if any even exist still. Ancient water fills this pool year round. Much of it begins ice and snow. Rain 100 miles away in the mountains of central Nevada. Runoff seeps into limestone bedrock and flows through an underground regional aquifer and emerges here. Let's go walk out to the salt flat over there. Ooh, it's actually like moist underneath here, I guess. Very interesting. Me too. Stopped here at the Devil's Golf Course. Alex says she prefers to stay in the truck for now. And I don't know exactly what this is, but uh, it looks like rocks, but I think it's dried mud. It's called the Devil's Golf Course, like I said. And uh, it goes on for a very long time. Like super long. Some salt here. Sweet. Super sharp.
think it's all salt, salty rocks or something. They tell you to use caution because the salt bits are very sharp. Now, is this a piece of the salt, I wonder? Sure looks like it. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Guess what I found. Salt? Mm-hmm. Should we go to the artist point? All right, let's go. We're hanging out here. We're gonna do a little bit of picnic lunch. Made some shade for us as a, only I can. And uh, we're camped out, we're parked out next to the artist palette area, they call it. There's lots of cool colors within the rocks here. It was very cool to see even by driving by it. Maybe driving by it was even cooler, I don't know. What do you think? Thumbs up, she says. We're here inside the visitor center. There's a nice auditorium and they do a movie every 30 minutes on the hour and a half hour it says. Some really nice pictures people have taken over here. I really like this one. The racetrack playa is where these little rocks move around on their own. This is like a Star Wars scene pretty much right here. Yeah, nice big movie screen for you to watch a movie on. Lots of theater seats for you to sit in. And the best part though, is there's air conditioning. So we somewhat ashamedly spent like over an hour in here, cooling off in the middle of the day. We watched the movie twice. We did watch the movie twice. And uh, highly recommend it if you need a spot to cool off at. Plus the movie is actually pretty good, so that's decent yeah we're headed back to the dream we're gonna go sweat it out there during the hottest part of the day and yeah we're gonna probably take off tomorrow maybe visit the waterfall on the way out as you can see nice little meandering path up onto the top cool rocks around I say cool rocks and it sounds stupid coming out and it's kind of lame but like they are really cool It is quite the viewpoint from up here. Looks like there's a little path that goes on down if you really want it to. Which is pretty neat.
Another gorgeous sunset out here tonight. Once again, our friend the moon is with us. That looks like it's close to how the sky actually looks. Pretty close. As you can obviously realize from your own sorts of videos and photographs. Probably looks way more awesome in person than on the video, but a little bit of the experience here with us. Temperature is much more acceptable this evening, although it hit a high of 104, did we see? It was 105. 105 when we left. But today is, today is nice. Still standing around in my underwear. On the phone. It does look pretty close to what's actually out there, doesn't it? some of these clouds take off and now look for stars later tonight maybe now have fun looking at the moon today is the final part of Death Valley we hooked up the rig behind us there we were driving on out in a little bit yeah it's super sunny that is a big bird whatever that is we are headed to the Mesquite Sand Dunes right now, and may be our final stop of Death Valley, right? Yeah. Which I found out was called Tabisha, which I like a lot more too. Um, we saw a bat last night, maybe two bats, maybe the same one just circling around us, and a couple of lizards today. Most of them trying to run under the truck so far while we're driving. See the sand dunes and maybe take a little walk out. It's not a bad temperature. It's uh, a little windy if you can't tell. Alex is worried about the sign that shows his snakes. So we're gonna go check it out. Whew. Hot sand. It looks just like the pictures. Some big dunes out that way. Some big dunes out that way. They're little like just sand hills from where we are. I think I'm gonna go try to stand on top of that one, Alex. Come on. The edge of a dune. Alright, it was a quick stop to the sand dunes here. And we're gonna head out after I fix my sunglasses towards Lone Pine. I think we'll probably have to stop for gas, maybe some water in between. And uh, yeah, Lone Pine's the destination, at least for some videos or some cell phone service, right? Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe we'll make a stove, stove pipe, well, stop real fast here. What about in the heat? Let's see where the keys are. Just like us, I guess. Goodbye, sand dunes. One other feature I forgot to tell y'all about this park is that Lots of Star Wars scenes have been filmed here. There's obviously like the Tatooine scenes and stuff. But uh, it was neat. We got to do a little self guided tour. We went to a lot of the spots that we didn't see in town. Like five or six or something. Like that. Five or six or so. so yeah, it's been real Death Valley. We'll be seeing you maybe never. <laughs>